You turn a puddle into oceans You set the galaxies in motion You see the magic in a single flake of snow You turn the sidewalk cracks to canyons You are a fire-breathing dragon You follow treasure maps into the wild unknown I wanna go with you I wanna go with you On a grand adventure Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of Vet in the Van. Check this place out. <laughs> so, um, this episode, we're just sort of heading up the Dampier Peninsula. Um, so, in this one, we've got Panda Bay, or we're leaving uh, Willie Creek, the beach that we're staying at. So, a bit that, bit of that, because um, we were there for like two weeks. Uh, and then, yeah, onto Panda Bay, and then on to Smithies. So, uh, yeah. Enjoy. You sing a song and I will listen. We'll make a dance for in the kitchen. I can't believe the way your laughter fills the room. I want to go with you. I want to go with you on a grand adventure. I reckon we're getting numb to it and I think anyone who travels especially in WA like we're just having dinner as you can see behind me and look like just another beautiful fiery golden amazing sunset and the thing is it's like every day <laughs> so yeah i don't think we'll move from here i think we'll just stay roast potatoes on the fire you know life's good life is good hello well the time has finally come we've been here for for a week and a half and we've done a whole lot of nothing uh, it's just words can't really give it well the, the gopro won't do it justice but this is just such a beautiful free camp and it's so close to broom it's just this place has ticked all the boxes for us so that's why we've just kind of we've just stopped and we didn't do any recording um we did a bit of recording but not not you know didn't put an episode as you probably would have noticed of been a bit slack with the episodes of late for those who watch the channel um but yeah it's just been fishing drinking sunsets and that's pretty much it and lots of relaxing you know watching the whales pretty much every day we've got whales going out there just breaching but all good things must come to an end so we are we're packed up we're almost packed up i think toby's threatening to donk someone with the <laughs> with the caravan bloody step but anyway um we're packing up and we're gonna head up to panda bay which where we were gonna head about two weeks ago but we just kind of got sidetracked by the magic that is broom um and yeah so it's about two hours up north um we're booked in there for for three four days three nights um and then from there we're just gonna kind of explore cape levique 
and all that area. So, Pender Bay, see up there. And, and also, we have to get out of here. Um, so, you probably, I don't know, in an earlier video, you may have seen the footage of us. We had to do a double line pull to get in here in the first place because it's like super soft sand. So I'm gonna drop everything down to about 15 and hopefully slowly walk her out, but eh, we'll see. <laughs> You reckon just punch it from here? Don't punch it. Like, just keep rolling. You've got full traction. All right, I'll give it a go. Because the van will hit those max tracks, so it should be all right. All right, for love or bust. Don't punch it. Just go slow. Keep your traction. All right, so we just managed to get out and it was kind of underwhelming for what we thought was going to happen. <laughs> um, Max tracks down to give us a bit of extra grip on the spots that were going to be the softest, but we just crept it through and Benny did the job. So have a look here, we didn't even... didn't even lose traction the entire way through. Beautiful Mickey T footprints. Oh yes. So we've just pulled, we've just pulled seven and a half tons through there. And while we were camped out there, I reckon I pulled a few people out of the beach, I reckon I pulled four people out of that very spot. Go to the cruiser! And so we have arrived at Hand Bay and uh, 40 bucks a night. Have a look at this. <laughs> Not bad. So we're here for the next uh, five nights because we've booked this site for another two because it's like, well, it's like this. <laughs> it's like this. Um, so yeah, uh, we're just gonna, um, Explore the whole area from here. We might do a couple of the rooftop tents, see if we can store the van, we're not sure yet, but um, we'll use this as a base um, to explore the whole area. Um, we've got a couple of friends here as well that we didn't know were here, which is good. Um, just other travelers, um, one of them has a boat. Uh, so hopefully we're gonna get on some more fish here as well. And we can just uh, enjoy some cliff top camping, but oh, get a load of this. I put the drone up but uh, Andrew is adamant there is no drones here and I think that's um, fair enough because it is private property so that's the rule so all the insta shots you see of the um, of the rock pools down there yep anyway you won't see any drone shots from us that's for sure um, but we will yeah we're just gonna enjoy this place for five days I reckon it's gonna be magic so yeah let's explore And good morning. So, um, we didn't do much yesterday, we just chilled out. But today, we're gonna go for a walk and see if we can find, uh, there's some rock pools um, around the corner that's supposed to be really nice. So I think we've timed it with low tide. That being said, um, the low tide is not very low today. So we may walk there and <laughs> find out that there's nothing there. But either way, it'll be a good adventure. So, Panda Bay, the insta-famous rock pools. No drones.
you say, nestled in here, in amongst these like, giant, amazing rock sculptures is this cool little crystal clear rock pool. Um, so this is one of Pender Bay's little walks. It took us, I don't know how long it takes to get here, Tans. An hour, if that? No. Yeah, maybe 45 minutes or so, and we're at Toby speed, so. But the walk is beautiful. The rocks are amazing. The colors in the rocks are next level. And then, I love this country, man. Seriously, I, it's just stunning. Anyway, I'm going for a dip. Battered blue nose salmon for dinner tonight because um, we tried to fish. I even went out for a steer and there's not much out there, so we'll see how fishing goes. But apparently, people have been catching stuff, so um, Hope Springs Eternal. But um, Andrew, so there's no dogs allowed here, but Andrew, the caretaker, um, he's got two of the loveliest dogs and they just um, they just hang out the campsites. I think, uh, I think. Um, I can't remember what her name was, but she does the rounds. Yeah, shake, shake, shake. Okay, good girl. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> but I think she does the rounds at dinner time, just um, <laughs> checking out all the campsites to see who's gonna, uh, who's gonna give her some food. But it is very cute, aren't ya? Are you a cutie? Are you a cutie? Mm. Yes. Don't like that fluffy thing. Don't like the fluffy thing, not too sure about it. <laughs> so, apparently she's on heat, so the dingoes have been coming around, so we don't want to hang around here all night, otherwise that dingo's scratching at the van and no one wants that. Anyway, dinner time. And just like that, five days has disappeared. i tell you what, we probably would stay here more, um, stay here for longer, but it pretty, looks pretty solid. Um, but yeah, Panda Bay is, well worth the visit. Now, a few things about Penda Bay. So, um, check your campsites when you book. Um, I think there's a map online or a wiki or something. Um, they have ones all along the cliff. They have some set further back, um, but generally they're all pretty awesome sites. Talk to Andrew, who's the caretaker, um, and just let him know what size rig you got, um, and he'll be able to sort you out with a, with a pretty good site. Kids under 12 are free, which uh, obviously we love. Um, costs, what it cost us tons, about 40 bucks. Yeah, 40 bucks a night. Um, which is 10 bucks per person, or 10 bucks per, no, 20, 20 bucks. Yeah, 20 per adult. Yeah, 20 per adult. Yeah, yeah, good on my math. <coughs> 10 bucks per adult, so 20 per adult, sorry. Um, and yeah, there's something about this place that's just, it's very, very nice. So it's got, it's got a couple of showers up top. Um, they're just solar, so they won't work during the night. Uh, obviously, um, there's, <laughs> but they're really cool. They are lovely showers. Um, the beach is amazing. Um, however, there are crocs and sharks and all that kind of stuff that you need to look out for. So just be aware, obviously. Um, the fishing out the back. Now we didn't get to go out in the boat because the wind was uh, a bit too crazy. We're not taking the inflatable out. We had some mates that went out um, and they brought back and gave us one of the cobias, one of the many cobias that they've been catching. It's like 1.3 meter, <laughs> big fish. Um, so that's made its way into the freezer again. So the freezer is absolutely chockers. But no, it is, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. Now, the other thing um, about uh, Penda Bay is there's no day trippers. So don't come here unless you're staying here because Andrew will just tell you to turn around. Um, you won't be able to come down to the beach. You won't be able to go out to the rock pools or any of that kind of stuff um, if you're not staying here. That's it, because uh, this is all, obviously it's all private land. And you know, people get their backs up about it, but the reality is it's private land. So they've got to pay for everything. They've got to pay for the road. They've got to pay to get it graded. 
They've got to pay for their, all the improvements that are to the property. They've got to pay for the toilets, the showers, all that kind of stuff. And so for people to expect to just come and get all that for free, it's a bit rich in my book. Um, but yeah, uh, being said, anything else, Tons? Pender Bay? No? It's been a great place. Yeah, yes. really liked it's it, really by. chill. And it's just flown by. And you now obviously there's, other, there's heaps of other families here and heaps of other travellers and just you know, generally cool people. So look, big tick for Pender Bay, packing up tomorrow. And we don't know where we're going yet. No, where are we going tomorrow? Uh, Bard Creek. Maybe. We might just head back yeah. to Bard Creek. We, we almost thought about going back to where we were originally on the beach there, just up from Willie Creek. But we thought, no, let's not. Let's keep moving. So, uh, yeah, end of Panda Bay, and tomorrow on to Bard Creek. Ten minutes down the road from um, where were we? Panda Bay. Panda Bay. 10 minutes down the road from Panda Bay is uh, Smithy's. Now, we were going to go back to, um, we're going to go back into Broome, chill there for a bit, but um, we decided that we'd come out here. I put my thongs on because the sand's stupidly hot. <clears throat> Check this out. And the sand is very hot, but. Gorgeous. So it's just run by um, one of the local families. Um, they've all gone out fishing, um, and then I think they're going to come back and have a big meal. So might be able to get to sample some of the local delicacies, maybe even a turtle. I'm hoping to get a turtle. Hoping to get a turtle. So, um, so yeah, that'll be pretty, pretty cool. So we might just chill on the beach all afternoon. Maybe go for a bit of a fish and just uh, continue enjoying. This. I'm going to get a Trevally. Tarzan's going to get, get onto a massive GT. I think <clears throat> there's a reef about 10 k's out, is where all the big stuff seems to be getting caught. Um, we had friends back at the other place, I think I was saying earlier, where the um, you know, big cobies were just following the boat because they like to stick near, like next to whale sharks and, and um, all that kind of stuff. And so they see a boat and they'll come up right next to it. And they just flick lures off the back and <laughs> pull in monsters. But, don't have a boat. But anyway, try some shore fishing, see how we go. Nothing as good as catching some fresh fish, bringing it home and cooking it up straight away. Nothing fancy, just garlic and butter. And then enjoying this view whilst having fresh flake for lunch. 
Not bad? Not bad. Not bad. Bit windy, but the wind's supposed to die down again, the Savo. And um, then I think we'll probably chill off tomorrow. But gorgeous little spot. They're all gorgeous little spots. Anyway, fresh fish. Bring it on. No, my foot's in your mouth. Who are you, your friends? <laughs> I think that counts as. Oh, I think he's We got Chase and Buster here with us. Chase and Buster. Two of the camp dogs. Two of the camp puppies. Where Come to play. Dog. Yeah, and there was another one called Angel as well. About Angel. There's something very cool about just having puppies just cruising around the campsite. I think Tarns wants to worm them. We'll wash our hands after. <laughs> so while we're talking about dogs, fun facts. So dogs are the oldest of all domesticated animals. And I think they were domesticated, what, times like 20,000 odd years ago? About 20,000 years ago. About 20,000 years ago. So every dog you see comes from a grey wolf. And I think it's somewhere in Asia, but I'm not sure. But all wolves, all dogs are descended from wolves. And um, it's the relationship between man and dog that's, you know, every single dog you see has been absolutely 100% sculpted by man over, you know, tens of thousands of years. And I think it's just fascinating that you look at a puppy, you're like, oh, you're so cute. And there's a reason for that. And the reason is that we've bred them to be exactly, exactly how we want them to be man's best friend. And I think that's fascinating. But anyway. And they're so cute. And they're so cute. <laughs> and so that's it for Smithies. And I think that is it for this episode. Um, We've just kept on going north, so we're going to spend some time up at um, Upper Cape Levick now, uh, right up on the tip, uh, which is where we are now. But I'll do that next episode. So, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll go help my child, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>